Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create OTP dashboard. So before understanding the dashboard, so there are a couple of objects and tools which we generally come across in Oracle Analytics, or maybe you can call it as Oracle Reporting Technology. So here you can observe that there are four highlighted objects are mentioned here. The first one is analysis, which is nothing but we also call it as OTBI analytic analysis or OTBI report, we call it as. And this is based on a tool called analytics answers. And the other one is the main important topic of today's discussion, dashboard. I can say it's a simple and organizer for the couple of other BI objects. In general, in a dashboard, you can have a couple of analysis mentioned or a couple of reports mentioned or nothing but they are grouped in a dashboard with a couple of pages. Now, the other one is a BIP report or you can call it as a report in this particular object catalog type, which is based on a BIP publisher or analytics publisher. Other one is a data model, nothing but the source for the BIP report and which has information about from which particular data source it has to extract, <laughs> extract the information. Now, let us understand the steps involved to create a dashboard. So in our example today, so like we have assumed that we have two analysis and one report, and then we'll be creating a dashboard for these particular three reports. So we'll create a dashboard by clicking on create icon and then click on dashboard, mention the dashboard name as well as mention the selection where you want to store the dashboard and then create or select the analysis or reports which we have created in the first step, nothing but the assumption. And then by default, the dashboard will create a single page and you can drag and drop the couple of analysis or reports. If at all, if you want to have an independent page for each analysis or report, you have to create the pages accordingly and drag and drop the appropriate object. And then you can just click on view and you can run the report and you can see the output a similar functionality like this. In our example, we have three reports, a customer, supplier, as well as ledger details. So we'll try to mimic the same example now. So I'll just navigate to the Fusion instance now. So I'll open the Fusion instance and I'll go to analysis. If at all, if you want to know how do I navigate here. So there are a couple of ways you can navigate. The first way, general way, what we can do is you can click on, you can, once you log into the Fusion application instance, click on tools, click on report and analytics and click on browse catalog. And this will navigate to slash analytics of your Fusion instance. Nothing but this URL is nothing but the Fusion apps URL followed by analytics. The next step is click on create analysis. Now we'll create two analysis and one report. So I'll go with, I'll just search with customer, which is based on receivable customer real time, receivable customer real time, which is nothing but AR customer, we generally call it as. And now before changing anything, I'll just click on save. So here, remember the location where we are saving our analysis. So I'll just save the information in the Aura Trainings folder, dashboard demo. So I'm saving my content in the, inside the folder of dashboard demo. So I'll name it as customer OTBI or customer analysis, customer analysis OTBI. Now select the appropriate columns so if at all, if you know the column name, you can simply search. So I'll just go with the registry ID, customer name, account, site, and couple of fields. This is my party number, we could generally call it as. Now I'll go with the customer account. Account number then account site. Site name, site number. And then we'll try to use the site use, if at all, if we have the site use. It's okay. So we'll just go with these four fields. And remember, we don't have any search criteria mentioned as of now. So I'll just go with a filter criteria of account number begins with one or something like that. 
So now just click on the result and see the output. As of now, we are hard coding the filter criteria, but in real time, what we can do is we can ask the user to enter them. So that we'll discuss in the next session. But for now, we don't want to consider any parameters as of now. So the first, our first analysis is almost done. You just click on save and our OTBI for the customer analysis ready. Now, similarly, we'll create the another analysis. Click on customer and then, sorry, click on create analysis. Now here I'll select a supplier. So here, this is supplier real time. I'll select supplier real time this time now. Supplier, supplier real time. So we'll just select supplier data. So I'll save it first of all. And this also I will save in my dashboard demo folder. Supplier analysis OTPI. So here I'll mention supplier number. Supplier name. Okay, supplier site. You can just search supplier site number or site code. Okay, let's search it. Supplier sites. Procurement BU, we have to have this one. General. Try to have site name at least. I'll just go with address name as of now and save it. So similarly, I'll filter all the suppliers which are starting with one. Okay, so now our supplier report is almost ready. You just click on the result and you can see the output. Okay, so we just got the supplier data. Now, what we do is we want to create one, a new BIP report. So I'll click on create Click on data model and click on save. So here, yeah, make sure that you select the appropriate folder. You can save anywhere, but the basic thing is like uh, when we are, when, as in when we are designing any component, always we have to understand where are we saving it. So better like uh, it will be beneficial for us to maintain the code and migration purpose. For our trainings folder, dashboard demo. And here I'll select ledger details. DM. So I'll select ledger queue, select ledger ID, common name, ledger underscore name from GL underscore ledgers. That's it. You just save it. Save it. Now we can click on table view, save as sample data, and always again save it. Now yeah, so click on create report. Select use report editor, click on finish. And make sure the location, yeah, correct only. Ledger details report. Click on OK. Click on, yeah, let it generate, yeah. Yeah, it is saved, the report is saved now. Click on generate and mention the layout name as output. You can go with the default. You don't require to change anything as of now. And default output is HTML. As of now, it's okay. Now come into the important thing. Now click on create, click on dashboard. Yeah, this is the main thing now. So we have created three components, two analysis and one VIP report. Now we have to, now we are clicking on a dashboard, okay? So yeah. So now it is asking to mention what is our dashboard name. So I'll say dashboard demo. So make sure the location here. So I'll go with specific location. 
you can click on browse catalog now here i go i want i just want to save our dashboard in our location only so where is that Our trainings dashboard demo perfect so i'll select this location click on ok the dashboard will not appear in dashboard menu so the thing is if at all if you are saving your dashboard in a different location your dashboard may not appear in the dashboard demo but dashboard menu but as of now let us go with this we'll discuss that information later okay for now i'll just go with here and click on ok so now it will open the dashboard page yep our page yeah so now what we want to do is by default it will create one page that is what i i told you earlier now let us scroll down here so this scrolling is a little bit awkward but yeah just uh, you have to adjust with this so just scroll down yeah select any of the thing and just simply scroll down or up so now here where are we so we have to select custom custom or our trainings custom or our trainings dashboard demo okay so now let us see why we could not see all the three components yeah let me navigate here click on catalog so dashboard demo we should be able to see supplier analysis customer analysis yeah that's what so let's see them appropriate now again we are in custom folder now navigate here custom yeah so we could see them now i could see so i'll just drag and drop customer details on the first screen and now what you do is i just click on the settings the gear icon click on dashboard properties and here select this page component and click on this first icon and nothing but rename So I'll rename here, and I'll name it, name it as customers. I'll create a new page. Click on this Add Dashboard page. Add Dashboard page, and I'll name it as Suppliers. Now drag and drop the suppliers here, the supplier analysis. Better save it. Now click on New again. dashboard page now i'll mention ledger details click on okay now drag and drop ledger details as of now our report does not have any parameter so that we are expecting that it simply display whatever the data it is expected to display either you can click on preview or you can click on run so i prefer clicking on run now we should be able to see three pages in the output this is our ledger information supplier information and similarly customer information so in the next session we'll try to discuss about how do we parameterized our dashboard page so if at all if you want to migrate what you have to do is you have to migrate the analysis as well as dashboard okay so this is all about dashboard concept in the oracle fusion erp technical thank you